if Nigeria was a book, it would be on the recipe on how to bake the bread of affliction from ingredients reserved for national cake in ovens lined with grease. They have become the callous furnace of oppression. It will be a scrapbook of murder, of manslaughter, of meandering monsters, of maligning moments, of mostly meaningless methodologies and mightily mind-blowing misnomers stuck together in segregative intolerance. If Nigeria was a book, it would be three-part book of affliction. One, an encyclopedia of still accomplishment no one cares about anymore. Two, a dictionary that offers no meaningful insight to our situation. Three, to be a workbook no one can solve, which despite is not even the biggest brain banks could account for. If Nigeria was a book, it would have a publishing contract. No one benefits from a copyright deal no one wants to claim. Sealed with a barcode of resilience, it will still have the review of corruption. It would have 150 million world suffering in the hands of an editor who has a dyslexia of sound. If Nigeria was a book, it would be an addictive novel where we flip through the pages of the occurrent horrors on shelf whose wood is plagued by termites and ghosts like the wailing souls on the last bridge who have become footnotes in the compendium of Nigerian disasters. If Nigeria was a book, it would fill libraries with men handling the unpublished manuscript of the Biafran revolution. Our well, that would be there too. Childless couples ignoring sex but seeking the authors of masturbation. And if that book was turned into a movie, Fracking Style would be in the Senate working for the president, Majid Michael would be making out with his own disaster. A reporter would not survive his village people. The god of election and violence and ballot boxes would own all the infinity stones, but you would survive. So would Selma and Alem and Soweto. If Nigeria was a book, I would be one of the fewly correctly placed punctuation marks allowing you to make sense of this poorly edited congregation of the post nonsense. But Nigeria indeed is a book written by pencils in the hands of the creator and though God may be silent for a hundred years, the savior will still come true and the New Testament would begin. Though there are prophecies still unfulfilled, promises still untold, wars still unfought, a battle raging on a Christ to nail to the cross, an antichrist to expect Jerusalem in ruins and hopelessness marauding horn. Still, epilogue, victory is guaranteed still. Sailor.